How might one best make use of the Skarn weapons with the Tenacious Cell to achieve a massive 100% crit chance or even higher? That's the question we'll be tackling today. Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and welcome to the channel. You guys may have noticed the new intro, and there will also be an outro. The music was made by Plecto, check him out on SoundCloud if you've got the time. Today's video, we'll be going over some pretty good and really fun Scar and Tenacious builds. I tend to focus on the aspects of what's most effective in Dauntless, but I'll admit that a lot of the time I tend to use Scar and Tenacious builds just because of their fun aspect. So I've got two different versions of the builds for you guys, a full HP version and a half HP version. If you're wondering why there's a half HP version, the math is pretty simple. Tough 6 plus Tenacious 6 is 32% damage, and Tenacious 6 plus Rage 6 is 36% damage. And with the numerous attack speed advantages of low HP, that's why a low HP variant can be better, using Tenacious mostly for the high crit chance. We'll be going over the variations to be made for all of the weapons except for repeaters, including the mod specials and a perk or two being changed. We won't be dealing with repeaters today since they're currently the only weapons without prismatic slots, and we'll definitely need the legendaries for this build. A lot of you guys have been asking for repeater builds for the hunting grounds, and I will get to them soon enough when I get to repeaters for reforging. Let's start with the full HP versions of the builds. I only even stumbled upon this option of a build when I was looking for a way to have both Predator and Overpower on the same build as Tenacious and Cunning. The Scar and Tenacious half HP build typically has to choose between Overpower and Predator, for reasons we'll see soon. So we've got your choice of lantern with a conduit inside, we'll go with Thrax's feet with Predator inside, Torgadoro's gloves with Overpower inside, Thrax's chest with Predator inside, and Rezakiri helmet with Berserker inside. We're sacrificing 4% damage from Tenacious to get 20% damage from Berserker, a worthy trade-off. And in our Agoras legendary weapon we have two Tenacious cells inside. Depending on the weapon class you'll get three weighted strikes or three Naka King from using the Scar and Bond. For our mods and specials, we'll go with our weapons meta choices. For chain blades, we'll use Reaper's Dance and Momentum Blades. We're using Momentum Blades because you build up shield faster due to having higher motion value for base damage, and having crit bonus from serrated blades doesn't mean anything when we already have 100% crit chance. For strikers, we'll use Titan's Crash and Cyclonic Strike Plate. For sword, we take Avenging Overdrive and Recursive Hilt. Ardent Cyclone isn't particularly good, especially when your build relies on having a lot of shield and HP for damage and crit chance. For hammer, we'll go with Extended Clip and Might Landbreaker. For Axe, we'll do Grim Onslaught with Overcharged Cylinder. For Hammer, Sword, and Axe, feel free to replace the Berserker Cell with Evasive Fury for some extra attack speed. This is more of an optional change on Hammer and Sword, but a must-have on Axe. For Swords, you can swap to the Stormclaw Helmet for Energized, and can go Energized 6 instead of Conduit, particularly if you know your teammates already have Conduit 6. For Warpikes, I think the best course of action would be to replace Overpower with Savagery. Not that Overpower is bad on Warpikes, but if we still want this to be a Scar and Tenacious Cunning build, then we'll have to drop out Predator or Overpower, and you'd get more mileage out of Predator in this case. We'll also switch that Berserker Cell to Acidic, to give us that Savagery damage bonus faster and for longer. So the Berserker Cell from the Helmet is swapped to Acidic, the Predator Cells from the Thrax pieces are swapped to Savagery Cells, and the Torgadoro Gloves get swapped to Malkarian Gloves with Predator inside. If you would prefer the Overpower, then you can leave the Gloves as is. Scar and Tenacious is kind of a pain for pikes to run, and I would say the Scar and Tenacious playstyle suffers a bit more on pike than any other weapon. We can use your preference for special with the Executioner Spearhead mod. Now my one major gripe about these full HP builds is that it's impossible to run Catalyst 6 instead of Conduit 6 while keeping all the other perks the same. A Catalyst version of the build would run the Thraxis helmet instead of the Rezakiri helmet, and that gets stuck with having a plus 3 utility cell rather than having that sweet tech slot for Berserker, Evasive Fury, or a you do at least gain back those damage, attack speed, and wound damage buffs from running Catalyst, but it's still a bummer that you can't have both of those. Moving on to the half HP build variants. So yes, you can get a higher overall damage number on the full HP edition of this build, but the half HP edition has the advantage of having full control over the utility slot, which means we can run Catalyst 6, and with the far greater attack speed we gain while having lower HP as well, the damage per second output will be higher than the 
full HP builds. Balancing the damage and attack speed for a high damage per second output is what makes for the most effective build when it comes to killing things fast. So we've got the Shroud Helmet with Discipline inside, the Resikiri Chest Piece with Conduit inside, Catalyst if you're using Tonics, the Charog Feet with Tenacious inside, and Conduit or Catalyst inside of the Lantern. You'll have to choose between Overpower or Predator on these low HP builds if you want to have plus 6 of most utility cells. The Torgadoro Gloves with Overpower for Overpower 6 or the Malkarian Gloves with Predator for Predator 6. In our Agoras weapon, we'll slot Cunning and Tenacious, meaning we've got 6 Cunning, 6 Tenacious, 6 Rage, 3 Discipline, and the 3 of what our weapon has, and either 6 Predator or Overpower, and 6 of our desired utility cell. This will fit the bill for our Strikers, Chain Blades, Axe, and Hammer, particularly when we're running Catalyst and have that extra attack speed. For Swords, if you're playing solo without Catalyst, you can go for Conduit 3, Energize 3, and if in a group, 6 Energized if somebody else already has Conduit. For War Pike, it's kind of tough because we can't get 3 Acidic on the build if we want the 6 Utility, 6 Cunning, 6 Tenacious, and 6 Savagery. If we want to go with a Catalyst 6 option to replace that wound damage, we'll go with the Agoras Pike with Catalyst and Discipline inside, Shroud Helmet with Tenacious inside, Quill Shot Chest with Savagery inside, Boreas Gloves with Tenacious inside, and Thrax's Feet with Cunning inside. And for the Lantern choice, we'll put Catalyst inside. For a plus 3 Utility version with Acidic, just swap the Utility Cell in the weapon for Acidic and have your choice of plus 3 Utility Cell in the Lantern. So, when would we be using these builds? I personally think these builds are just some of the most fun in the game, particularly when playing Shock or Terra Escalation. Easily getting to 100% crit chance with Virulent Impact along with some other amps like Shock Form, Full Throttle, and Spiteful Onslaught is just a really fun time. I also use these builds when I have a considerable power disadvantage, such as when going in Escalation with a group where I'm the only lower level. And I use the half HP version with Predator on my Chain Blade build this week for Dauntless Trials to not only get myself an easy sub 3, but to get sub 3 carries done for other people, which you can catch me doing pretty often over on Twitch. In the group trials, by the end of it, if I didn't take any damage, I ended up around 11,000 shield, making for over 200% crit chance. Do be warned though, with this much shield, the game can start to lag pretty hard, particularly when Reaper's Dance heavy attacks land. You might be wondering why I wouldn't run Guardian, so I could give my teammates this shield, but perhaps that'll be a discussion for another video. Because that'll do it for this video today, guys. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, and if you enjoy Dauntless content and are not subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel, where I post Dauntless content every week. I've been Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.